All right, guys, what's going on? Sorry. So I wanted to show you today uh, another perfect example of why you should never dry clean your Amiri jeans. So we got two jeans right in front of us. These are the Dirty Indigo Broken Jean, the very first release, first edition, number 144, right? Both of these jeans are size 29. Both of these jeans have not been altered in terms of length or um, width. The only difference is that the jean on the left hand side has never been washed or dry cleaned and a jean on the right hand side has been dry cleaned. So we zoom in on these photos and we only got three minutes to get through this. And you can tell how basically the shape of this gene is original. The shape here is all like discombobulated, right? The knee area, they're similar, but here it looks more piss yellow. And to prove these genes are identical, look at this line here. I call it the twig. You could see it here. And then there's a gap of the whiskering here. The next whisker should be here, but it's actually dropped down below. Same thing here. And that's prevalent on the size 29 of these jeans. We look at the back, this little fading here, this fading here, this fading here. They're there, but you could hardly see them. Also, the shape on the back looks horrendous. You can tell this is normal. And when we start getting into the waistband, the tag on the waistband, I could tell from here that this leather is screaming for uh, lubrication, meaning that it's dry. The leather is dry. The letters are shiny. I can see the shine and I can even tell how thick is how thick the leather is, how it should be, meaning these jeans were 100% never washed or dry cleaned. And then even here, I'm kind of seeing a 3D whisker. It's very difficult. We're not going to get into that. But on the dry clean pair, boom, you see this white line here. This white line is from the dry clean. It's so strong that it always leaves this white line on the edges and it will often rub off the letters. Now here the letters kind of look white, not as shiny like on here, but we could tell it's not, you know, it's not what it is. Um, if we go back, actually, sorry about that. If we go back, you could tell here, the leather is much darker and black and none of these edges here are messed up. Here, there's a, it's already, I can tell here there's like a wrinkle. And then on the back, look how sharp, crazy sharp, super black, dull leather. That's exactly how it's supposed to be. Amiri denims, the leather on it, on the originals with the zipper, it's supposed to be this kind of matte black flat leather. You don't want it shining like Rihanna's forehead. You don't want it with the white lines. You don't want it. You, you want it looking like this is what I'm trying to get at. Like these are perfect examples. Um, here you can actually see it, but it's a perfect example how the leather should look and how the leather here on the back should look. Um, that's basically it. I only have a few minutes on the screen record. That's all I'm allowed. We got to get our money up to have longer videos. And then the craziest thing in the world, these are $281. These are $316. So even in the dying market of Amiri, where the prices are crazy good, um, actually here it says 309, here it says 348. So I guess they're a little more expensive. But the point being is that these are worth worthless to me, for example, but they're more expensive than these. And one final thing is these were spot cleaned right here. I can tell this was a, a spot clean area. Someone probably dropped some food or a drink and they just clean up this little spot instead of washing or dry cleaning the whole entire gene, essentially fading, ruining it, ruining the shape and just the overall presentation. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed. Drop some comments below and remember, don't dry clean your mirrors, spot clean them only.